Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, in this video today, I'm actually going to be talking about a little theory I have about uh, Injustice 2, uh, Scarecrow within Injustice 2. So I know um, you guys don't normally like when I do these videos uh, from what I've seen, but hopefully uh, you guys can just, uh, I don't know, just check this one out. Moving on to the point is that since Scarecrow has been revealed, a lot of us were questioning um, how is he going to work within the game? And it was later revealed that Scarecrow looks the way he does. His scary face, his body uh, looking kind of like a monster, um, his, uh, his hook. Basically, uh, all of that is was revealed to just be an illusion. Uh, Scarecrow uses his fear gas to unleash this form of himself. Now, this has raised a big question since it's, since it's reveal, is that, so, if that's the case, if this is mostly just an illusion, if that's the case, then what actually is happening during the fights you have with Scarecrow? I actually think they're going to introduce an element of Scarecrow's fear gas that will actually explain why, um why you're actually losing in a fight while uh, you're basically being affected with fear gas. So, to provide some context to why I feel this way, back in Injustice 1, there was actually this really big plot point where um, Batman created this uh, pill where basically uh, a mere mortal or human could have the strength to fight characters like Superman and Doomsday, characters like that. Characters that a normal person wouldn't be able to fight. That's how they explain characters like Joker and Harley Quinn being able to beat the shit out of a character like Superman. And so, basically, they went out of their way to make it plausible for the Joker to be able to beat the shit out of Superman in a fighting game. So, the reason that I say that I think Scarecrow's fear gas may have some new element to it is because they've done things like this in the past with other characters to try to explain how this character could actually fight another person within this game. So basically what I think is going to happen with the fear gas is that I think now normally uh, the fear gas just makes you see your worst fears. That's pretty much it. Um, but I think what they're going to do in this game is that the fear gas is going to be poisonous. Um, I don't think it's ever been poisonous before. I think it's just been an illusion before. But in this game, I think Scarecrow's fear gas will be extremely poisonous as the longer you're, uh, con the longer you're inhaling the fear gas, the faster it starts to kill you. And so basically what I think is happening is that during the fight, the reason that you're losing health is that you're seeing your fears playing out and then in reality and then in the reality the character is is just dying completely from this poisonous fear gas and i am predicting that they're probably going to go out of their way to uh present this this poisonous fear gas now, the other theory I was thinking about that I don't think is true at all is that maybe this gas actually transforms Scarecrow into a monster. But you know what? I highly doubt that because that seems that seems extremely um, unplausible. The one thing that I could see that may support that theory is, you know, um, not, not to spoil it, but in Arkham Knight... There is a point where Batman extinguishes himself of all fear, and at the end of the game, Scarecrow's fear has no effect on Batman because for mere moments, Batman has no fears of any kind. And I thought that was the coolest thing I probably have ever seen. Batman, like, think about all the things you could be scared about. Dying, the end of the world, someone you know dying you know uh i don't know just just think about anything you could be afraid of batman had zero fears in a single moment of his life like on a chemical level 
Like, that is incredible. So, if Batman has very few fears, then how will Scarecrow's fear toxin work on a character like him? Or some other characters? Like, for instance, I don't think Joker is afraid of very much. The only thing he's afraid of is Batman. But, uh, I mean, besides Batman, uh, I don't know what else Joker is actually afraid of. So... Hopefully they go out of their way to explain how Scarecrow's fear toxin works. Joker is getting revealed soon. I'm happy that he's back, but he was in the first game, and he was on like the cover of the first game. Uh, I mean, this isn't like a big deal. It, you know, it wasn't really a big deal that he was even in the first game honestly, in my opinion, um, and so I'm thinking, you know, why is this, like, the hypest character, he's the last character reveal, so why is he now the most hype character reveal, because, as far as I know, nobody's hyped for him at all, everyone thinks, like, why he's just taking up a slot, everyone's saying he's, like, he doesn't need to be here, he was in the last game, he had a big part in the last game, and it's like, he doesn't need to be like a huge plot point in this game. So, Bane. You remember Bane from the first game? How he was like huge and muscular? Well, he's not huge and muscular anymore. He's actually quite a lot smaller and is more human sized. So I'm thinking, alright, so why... I'm thinking, so why is uh, the Joker now just going to be this character that comes in and he's just normal he's the same character as he was in the first game he has all these tricks up his sleeve and he has all that stuff you know cool but what are they going to do different with him well you are not going to agree with this but maybe just maybe they're planning on bringing the titan joker into this version of the game the, the huge Joker from uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, you, you, you think, you, you'd probably think, oh, well, hell no. What the hell? But you know what? Let me, let me explain this for a second. First of all, maybe it has some importance to the game. Uh, for instance, maybe, maybe uh, what I said about earlier that the Joker and Scarecrow might be in cahoots. Maybe it's an illusion. Maybe it's this giant Joker, but it's not real. It's an illusion. That's one possibility. Probably not uh, possible. But, you know, maybe he's not really in the game at all. Maybe, I I'm getting very weird now, but like maybe, maybe there's a fight within the game where Batman has this moment where he gets struck by Scarecrow's fear gas, and then he envisions that this giant, um this giant Joker is back from Arkham Asylum and he's thinking holy shit now you might think you know why would he think he's fighting a giant Joker well actually in the first uh, Injustice um, actually Superman when he when he was hit with a drug that's that Joker gave him huh a hallucinogenic drug very interesting might I add he gives it to Superman, and he thinks he's fighting Doomsday and kills Lois Lane. Basically, he thought Lois Lane was Doomsday. Huh, how does that happen? So do you think it's possible that during the main story, maybe during a fight with Scarecrow, he hits Batman and Harley Quinn maybe, and any character in the game, with fear gas, and it creates this illusion of this giant Joker, you know, and maybe that's how he'll appear in the game. And then later on in like the character slot, you can just play as him because, you know, maybe it's a Scarecrow thing where you can play a Scarecrow, but then you could also play as Scarecrow who can summon this hallucinogenic uh, giant Joker character, you know, or maybe just the Joker himself, who knows. But that's my idea. That, that's my reasoning of explaining Scarecrow, how his fear toxin will work. And you know what? I didn't think about that till just now. But Joker did have some kind of drug 
that made Superman hallucinate the fact that he was trying to fight the Joker, and it was actually the lowest lane. Huh. Interesting. So. So, do you think Scarecrow might have a point in the story where he summons this giant Joker, and that's how the Joker will be in Injustice 2? Leave a like if you think that's possible. I don't, I don't see how they could get away with uh, just bringing back Joker. Just regular Joker in the way he is. Um, wow, that would be incredible, honestly. If, if, if one of the biggest moments in the story is if Scarecrow summoned uh, a hallucinogenic version of the Joker who was like the size of Doomsday and it haunted people like Batman and Harley Quinn. Um, there's the the reason Joker was confirmed. It was be uh, it was because uh, Harley Quinn. You get uh, an achievement for beating the Joker with Harley Quinn's special move. So interesting. Maybe it's a point in the story where this giant Joker fights Harley Quinn and probably also Batman. That would be so cool, and that would actually give Scarecrow. Uh, a greater sense of importance within the story, I would say. So I think that would be freaking awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this theory, click like. If you want to subscribe to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Keep on fighting and have a fantastic day.